Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Here we are with experience points, and we have only got so little left to go in the grand campaign as we head to Berlin. So, without further ado, let's head through this middle branch and begin with Bragration. Ah, new day, a new campaign branch. It's all very exciting. Okay, so what does it have in store for us? And let us begin. Okay, so as we do, we begin with the overview. And we're just going to see what we have here. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, supply, we have a supply on the northern route, the uh, very eastern supply routes there and southern so they're all on the roads which are really good as we have to dig uh, quite far in the uh, enemy have three supply sources all on the roads there if we look at our objective uh, we have one on turn two one on turn four and two on turn six so let's begin in the south uh, cross your armor across it has your great special step and you'll be able to punch through um, the infantry unit on this road. It's important that you actually take the supply route um, because you need to be able to push through. So here we are, we need to uh, get this happening. And we need to clear a route so that we are actually able to um, progress with our armor across the river as well. And this has a big zone of control so we are trying to airstrike it to do as much damage there as we can. A key point will be this unit here to airstrike, as well as this armor. Okay, bring our armor across, we decimate that unit. Now we can look at uh, capturing up to this bridge yeah, quite cleanly. Uh, I push my unit in the south uh, up this way so that I wouldn't get congested up here. Um, also gives me a chance to uh, try to uh, clean off one unit there. I didn't. F I found I actually couldn't push across up here because of the um, problems with uh, the swamp. Okay, over here. Just uh, you want to head towards this bridgehead and this bridgehead. You really want to just isolate off the. Uh, enemy forces and we have the range on the supply source to do that. You are there's only one place out of supply which is here because of all the swamp ones. Okay, over here we want to use this uh, terrain that has, doesn't have any forest to try to punch through to the objective. Uh, it is quite good if we can uh, put some damage on this unit uh, because of as you see this has a um, black unit which will suppress my ability to uh, airstrike any of the surrounding hexagons. Okay, as we move up, this unit here is very very stubborn and uh, won't easily be moved. But we also want to shift down here and we want to get our zone of control. So it means we're going to have to use a lot of infantry so we can get our armor through. As you see, I wanted to keep hammering this. If I can kill it, it's all the better. Because it won't um, prevent my airstrikes. There we go. Um, you will find just as I'll pause it here, um, that there are forests here, so if you try to take the road into here, uh, you will have to try to take this square here. Um, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, so you have to waste a unit doing that unfortunately. With your uh, partisan's ability, you can either cut off supply up here or down here, but it's actually impossible to take this part here, uh, unless you use all your squares, but if you're actually able to cut off here, um, in two turns, it means when you start pushing your units up here, you'll definitely be able to cut this unit off supply. Um, but given that there are three roads in, yeah, we have to be careful about that. Okay, so here I'm trying to cut through the forest, uh, or where it is a clearing, so that I can just shift the unit up here to cut off supply. Um, the units up here have really limited purpose, there's no objective they have to take, so a goal is win by cutting off their supply. If they move, that's all the better. Um, like if they go to take this, then that's fine. I'm okay with um, supply baiting in that regard. Okay, so 
exactly how they respond. Just uh, looks like it's a pretty typical reply. Uh, pull back to where they're in supply. Attempt to re-establish a new defensive line. While they also uh, attempt to do damage where they can. It's nothing too serious and it should be uh, very easy to, to deal with. Okay, along this uh, place here is it going to be is going to be a little bit of a difficulty because of the uh, quality of the units and the uh, the forest. But we'll see what we can do. Okay, so here was easier to hit there. We want to clear up this area so that we can um, look at uh, coming down here. Now, I did put a bridge there as I thought it might be able to at least push me up a little bit and able to uh, maybe even bypass or as I can perhaps um, create a bit of threat. Okay, so here, air suppression. I want to get this unit out because if I can destroy this unit on the second turn, it means I'm going to be able to um, really gun up here, and that's going to be very important. Uh, any th I have found that threats to the um, and the, any threat to the uh, supply line here will be quite devastating later on. Oh yeah, and um, I possibly should have pointed out earlier that put all your supply um, uh, extended, like extended supply powers into this supply here. You really need um, this one, I found, um, because if you do get cut off, at least you can keep extending that supply source if they take the road. Over here it's not so useful, but um, this one I found is the one that I did. Okay, so up here, we're uh, just taking out the German security. Going through, putting a, a decent unit there because of this threat here. And as you see, I went and took this part of the road because I wanted to make sure I was going to be in supply. Now we're just going to surround some of the troubled units, just push our infantry through. And uh, got a confine there, which is quite nice. Now I could have attempted to artillery strike this, but uh, I wanted to keep pushing up and in. These units will uh, retreat across the river, and they'll still be in supply for a while because they're in that eight turn, uh, sorry, the eight range supply that they have uh, from three roads. But definitely want to keep pushing up. And here it's important that we start to um, end these units because we need our supply uh, lines running to be able to make these six objectives. We could eventually link up, but we just want to make sure that we're going to be in supply. Um, as you see, we're slightly out there, so we need to make sure that we can cause a bit of damage here and get some things happening. So we're going to cut off the uh, supply for the, uh, from this trade route on the road here, which is quite nice, and just uh, reinforcing our forward units, and seeing what we can do. Okay, it's a bit of a tension here because I want to destroy this unit so it doesn't uh, fly down here. At the same time, I want to get rid of these units as well. Okay, just uh, clearing up here so I get my armor through. Hopefully next turn we can just take here and we can completely cut off this route as well. So this route as well, I should say. Very good uh, special steps over here as well with some... Uh, quite powerful units, so we want to make full advantage uh, of full use of that and take full advantage. Okay, now this is the next trouble here. And uh, I thought maybe I could have actually destroyed a unit or done three suppression, which uh, may have carried over. I'm not sure whether they can reinforce two or three steps um, per turn, but it's better to try than not to. Maybe I should have air suppressed over here. Um, but given that it's a forest, my uh, odds are going to be significantly less. Okay, he's pulled out. He's trying to reinforce or rush to resupply that unit. So we have a good chance now. Now it looks like I didn't um, attack, or sorry, I should say, extend my range on this unit um, by putting my attack points into uh, movement points. But either way, we have cut off supply now from the north route because we took that intersection there. Okay, now we're just uh, clearing out here. And I 
just uh, look to reorganize that unit that wasn't overly useful there. But now we have supply um, really covered here. Looks like we can um, have a bit of peace of mind there that our armor is going to be okie dokie. Now I wanted to really strike this unit out. If I can get suppression I can really hit this unit hard, um, which is the goal. So there we go, we can punch through with our armor now. Still put up a fight, that was very sucky. But there we go. Push in, we're now across the river. Awesome, so. We have to take, uh, sorry about that, uh, the next objective here by turn four. Want to keep a good unit on here just in case they try anything too fancy. Which I, I don't think they have it uh, in them because they have no units can attack next turn. Still we want to push in a little bit and try to clean up where we can. It's like uh, if this game holds true to the formations that the units were actually in, and I believe the developers did a really good job at um, they're trying to be really authentic for that while maintaining, you know, a level of um, gameplay that was actually um, quite good. So that balance between like real life and um, and the art of this game, but uh, it definitely shows like the Axis were in completely undefendable positions constantly. Like if they pulled back here for this line, for example, it would have been so much more difficult to push through. Oh well. So what have we done? We're pushing towards our objective. We uh, have no real worry about infantry cutting off supply because we took out these units that were over here. So we still have this fella here, but I'm sure we can uh, rearrange that. We have infantry here protecting our supply line as well. So there we go. Now we're just going to start to really uh, go, would you say, Godspeed straight towards the uh, objective up here. We definitely need to start pushing our armor as we uh, get rid of this uh, last threat. Now we are just trying to use Partisan's ability just to, I guess, clear out um, a little bit of area here to make movement up there. There, I probably should have done it down here, and I possibly could have um, once in the next turn up here cut off supply for this guy so he wouldn't have had uh, such a range there. And there's not much they can really do in their axis turns. They are. Uh, up the creek without a paddle. As we start to uh, finish off some of these units, we'll just reorganize where we can. Uh, given that I've only got one more turn though, um, where I can actively reinforce the unit, I am um, reorganizing uh, my units is more of a clean up than anything else. Because these units are going to be ineffective, I can reorganize them or I can just leave them. I'm not worried about the units. Um, down here in the uh, down here in the east, no real threat there. <laughs> the infantry now is considerably useless. Um, they will only hold lines uh, and keep these guys from doing anything nasty. But still, I like to have a clean battlefield and. Uh, and just keep my units um, organized enough. So there you go, even a completely suppressed out of supply unit can cause a little bit of grief. Okay. I guess we're just cleaning up these units in the south. Okay, not leaving. Uh, I could try to make a shoot for over here, but I'm not going to be able to do anything in time. This really now is an armor run. Maybe these two units will have a bit of sway. Um, okay, so as we push towards this objective, we're just going to use our airstrikes and try to do what we can here. We wouldn't want to uh, not use an airstrike when we have two armored units just across from the objective. Okay, that was a breach. Go and then hopefully we can just move in. 
and we have the armor to do that. So now is the uh, point where you have to really um, decide who goes north, uh, northwest, and who goes southwest. I found that, uh, surprisingly, the units in the northwest is actually harder to hit um, and harder to take. Now, it does have. Um, let's just pause it up here and have a look at their supply. As you can see, um, it was good to partisan this one here because that would have been a 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. But this one really cut them off because of the uh, forest here. So that's using the terrain to our advantage. As you can see up here, it's really hard to. <laughs> I don't even know if you could actually partisan out this road. Um, but yeah, take a note here. So this has a 2 defense, this has a 3, but this one has an extra unit in it. So um, I push more armor up this way. Uh, because this is also fully supplied, when I go to attack this uh, next turn, uh, or I should say the turn after that, this will uh, lose 2 supply parts. Because it hasn't been reinforced. And they even reinforced the unit in the north. So I've had times when I've actually been to take, take the uh, first two objectives, but that one in the uh, northwest area has been quite a pickle. Okay. So here we go. And, uh, putting up a bit of a fight, but we have then we have the unit, and because we completely suppressed him, uh, that unit is dead. So you have to push everything we can. Um, to print, uh, ten, uh, blah, 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 blah. tied there. Uh, we transferring our attack point into movement, and now we're going to put on as much hurt as we can with the airstrikes. I'm not sure what city in ruin does. I do believe that should probably uh, take out the city bonus, but uh, in reality, it's actually way easier to attack a city. <laughs> Oh, I have nothing that can take the objective, but it's open and free. That's such a such a tease. It's so annoying. It's like I almost had it. Teasing victory. Um. Yeah. So uh, in reality, it's actually easier to defend a city that's ruined because there are more. Uh, you just don't have, for example, windows in buildings when you have a lot of rubble um, that you can set up defensive positions on. Okay, and that's it. And we still had one, two, three, four units that could, uh, five units that could attack this objective. So, uh, definitely send the majority of your armor up north because that unit is a lot harder to um, take. So, just a quick overview. Um, get rid of these units down here by um, attacking with artillery, but definitely punching your armor across and um, sort of. Destroying these units so you can come to the river here. Keep, you can shuffle these units down as well to keep your supply secure as long as you keep units here as well. You want to destroy this unit uh, by turn 3, um, or actually even turn 2, so that you can just punch your way up here. And you definitely want to send more armor up this way than down here. You can cut off the trade route here, and I would even, su uh, sorry, the supply route, I would even suggest um, really cutting it off. So. Um, taking the ones that you can, which I believe are these, but then take this one as well, and then um, as you progress up, you'll cut this guy off. Over here, you want to push your infantry to take here and to cross over. Uh, smash out this unit here so that you can come down, and uh, smash out this unit here. I guess you want to deal with this unit and any other units. This guy probably also will come down, uh, and this unit will stop airstrike, so he's a good one to take out with armor if that's possible. Over here, you can punch through here and here because you really want to get this armor up here to cut off. And then stream down here, then send, uh, just push through, strike here on the bridge. Um, this armor, armor unit will move up and uh, destroy him and then just uh, come up. Well, this has been Experience Points. I hope you've gained some experience from uh, watching this and I hope your, uh, your own campaign is uh, quite successful and quite brilliant. Ta-ra and cheers.